joined by commentator and political consultant uh, François Chardon. Thanks for being with us here on France Thanks 24. for having me. So late August, Macron loses his most popular cabinet member, the environment minister Nicolas Hulot, who used to be a TV, uh, sh sh talk, TV uh, adventure show host. Then now he's lost perhaps his most powerful cabinet member, the interior minister, uh, Gérard Collomb. Why did Collomb quit sooner than first said? Well, uh, there's different uh, uh, hypotheses, but uh, the most likely scenario is that uh, he feared for his uh, old city of uh, Lyon. Uh, apparently, there were a recent uh, meeting uh, uh, alongside uh, Junior Minister Marlene Schiappa, which didn't uh, go uh, uh, as well as, as he planned. So he felt he had the need to be... Uh, uh, battling, to be back uh, on the campaign trail. Yes, from uh, as early as possible. Plus, he had already announced that he would leave, so he forced uh, this this resignation on on Macron. And uh, and indeed, it's it's quite a blow, and it's a personal one because he he did the campaign alongside the president, so uh, it, he was closer than than you know. Does France have an institutional problem here? You have a president. And it's three times in a row we've seen this, right? Because we had this with Nicolas Sarkozy, th who, then François Hollande, and now with Emmanuel Macron. A president comes in, he's got all these powers, he builds a big coalition, and very quickly, his circle of influence narrows. Why? Well, this, it's a tricky question. Um, in, in this case, uh, there's probably a... Um, uh, a turn uh, in in the presidency that uh, that that has uh, come with uh, the Benalla case. Even if we consider this a minor incident, the the, the case impact his, it had. This is probably, a, this uh, is his bodyguard who uh, yes. was caught on video impersonating a police officer, allegedly impersonating a police officer, and beating and, uh, and beating a demonstrator on the sidelines yeah. of May Day. Now, the, 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 the Benalla affair leaving uh, scars and the interior minister feeling, I'm told, like he was left out uh, to dry? Yeah, well, you could, you could uh, uh, get a sense when he was uh, appearing before the uh, uh, parliament's investigative uh, committee that he didn't want to, to take uh, the responsibility for, for this uh, and uh, probably there was a resentment uh, at the uh, the Elysee Palace uh, for for that, and um, and clearly um, the, the they never uh, quite uh, uh, you know uh, found their uh, the same relationship. I mean something. So went, something was uh, broken in yeah. their in their close ties. Emmanuel Definitely. Macron comes to power, promising to do politics differently. Uh, promising as well, a, a strong presidency, even calls it what a Jupiterian presidency is how he put mm -hmm. it. Um, does he seem strong or weak today? Well, uh, maybe not as weak as his prime minister, who apparently learned of the resignation as he was uh, appearing before the parliament. But still, it's uh, it's quite something to have to replace, and there's a casting problem, and there's also the question of uh, how far does uh, should should he uh, reshuffle, because this has been discussed several times, because there are some weaklings in in this uh, government, so he can seize the opportunity, and we'll see if he does that, because he hates to be pushed, and this this time again is uh, is forced to act. hates to be pushed, uh, Emmanuel Macron, but at 40 years old. Uh, he's got a lot of power concentrated in his hands. Some say he's too aloof, uh, too distant, president of the rich, all these criticisms that are coming up at the same time, that he's too out of touch. And you know, he's been giving interviews saying, no, no, I, I've learned the lesson. I've changed. Has he? Yes. Well, he, he's certainly uh, trying to, uh, to, to give uh, this, this uh, new image, to project uh, that uh, ever since this crisis occurred. But... Uh, uh, in a way, the departure of uh, Colomb adds to this uh, problem because uh, Colomb was uh, uh, Co grounded Co in this local politics. He had the, the, this 40 years experience uh, that he brought to the government. So there's just perhaps one heavy weight uh, with Le Drian right now. Are French presidents capable of changing their game plan once they're in power? Are they capable of 
recalibrating of rebooting? Well, you you ask a question about the the character really of the the president. It, it's difficult to say. Uh, uh, is is suddenly uh, young enough uh, as a man to 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 learn a, a lesson, but uh, it's also um, it's also quite tricky in this context uh, with with the upcoming uh, elections, European uh, elections in the yeah. spring. Uh, so it's just pressure building again. François Chardon, many thanks for joining us. Thank you.